and welcome to Good Vibrations. I'm Mr. Ellis and today we're going to talk about how to assemble the oboe. Now there's a lot of different ways to put our oboes together so we're just going to hit the main points. If your teacher tells you something different, you follow what your teacher says. Talk about the parts real quick. We have three parts. We're going to build it from the top down and then when we put it together we'll build it from the bottom up. So this is your upper keys. A couple features about the upper keys to notice the difference. On the top you have a silver hole that's called the cup that holds the oboe reed. Then we have a corked end, and that corked end is very, very small. From our lower keys, you'll notice the lower keys have some weird funky buttons sticking up, and on the bottom we also have a cork, but the top has a receiving end to it that looks very different than the upper keys with this cup, the bell. Now the bell can look a couple different ways depending upon what brand or items you added to your oboe itself. This one has two holes on it that are going to be really hard to see in this video, and that's okay. If, if you have an oboe that has some extensions for lower notes, you'll have buttons on the side here and some extra keys to go along with it. So we're going to build from the bottom up. This is the lower keys and the bell. We're going to put these together by putting the corked in in the receiving end. Um, it's pretty obvious which ends those are because if you try to put it in the wrong way, it doesn't fit as well. So we cork the end or the end with the cork, we're going to grab the oboe so that none of our fingers cross the posts. If our fingers cross the post, then what will happen is we'll bend those rods, and we don't want to bend the rod. So we grab carefully around, and then we're going to push and twist. Now this will be challenging the first couple times, and that's okay. Cork grease it however much you need. This is our upper keys now. And the upper keys have two bridge keys, and we'll insert a couple pictures here so you can see the bridge keys. But there are bridge keys on the lower joint and bridge keys on the upper joint. And when you put them together, you need to line the bridge keys up. Don't line the buttons up, line the bridge keys up. So we're going to push and twist together. And then we're going to check to make sure we've lined our bridge keys up well. Because what matters most is that our bridge keys are lined up, and if you're on the bottom, those bridge keys will line up with the, where the holes are on this particular oboe. So the, the bridge key, the upper part, will go on top of the lower part. Um, I don't think it's possible with our modern oboes to switch it, but if something ever sounds weird with your oboe, start there. Look at the bridge keys. Now the reed, we're gonna put in, cork in, goes into the cup, and we're just gonna push it straight down Try to keep your pressure on the cork, not on the yarn. And definitely don't touch the cane part of the reed. And that will be good vibrations. 